Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu Desktop version 8.04 on a Macintosh using the VMware Fusion product. Now before you can get started there are a couple of things you're going to need to have, one of which is you're going to need to download and install VMware Fusion. Uh, this is not a uh, free um, product, but there is a 30-day trial, and then if you decide you like it, you can go ahead and complete the purchase. So navigate to vmware.com slash products slash fusion, click the Try Now button, and follow the prompts. Next thing you need is the actual um, Ubuntu desktop uh, program, and that is delivered in the form of an ISO file uh, that you can download from Ubuntu. Uh, so take a look here, um, go to um, getubuntu.com slash download, uh, and you want the 804 uh, desktop edition, and you want the standard personal computer edition. Uh, so download that, it's a large file, um, about uh, 700 megabytes, so it could take, um, depending on your connection speed, could take several hours. If you only have a dial-up modem, then you're probably going to want to see if you can order a disk. But at any rate, go ahead and get that um, saved off to your desktop someplace, because we'll need it uh, shortly. So, to get started with uh, VMware Fusion, I'm assuming you've got it installed and running and you've activated it, so I'm going to click New, and we're going to create a new virtual machine. So we'll click Continue here. Uh, what we're going to install is Linux. Uh, we're going to install Ubuntu in particular. Uh, we're going to uh, save this um, uh, on our computer. It's going to store it by default in a, in a file uh, in your um, uh, personal uh, folder. Uh, called virtual machines, you can give it a name. I'll call this this particular one. Oops. Let's try workstation desktop uh, 804. I'll show you how to do server in another movie. Uh, so you can give it a name, uh, and that'll be the name of your virtual machine. And as I say, it'll store it in a uh, file in your uh, folder uh, in virtual machines. Next thing you want is the disk size. Um, you have to choose the maximum disk size um, that you need, and so if you have a particular project in mind or you know you're going to be storing a lot of files, uh, then you'll want to be think carefully about what your disk size is going to be. I'm going to suggest, uh, for just kind of playing around and getting used to the product, 4 is plenty. Um, the um, other thing you can do is you can allocate all the disk space now. Um, and what that does is that will take a little bit longer for the installation, but it'll make the, um, uh, make the uh, application run a little bit faster uh, once you get it installed. Um, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and um, leave that blank for now, but you may want to check that because you get a little bit better performance. The other thing you can do is you can split the disk into two gigabyte files, and the reason for that is if you ever want to copy this virtual machine off onto, say, an external hard drive, uh, or maybe a flash drive or something. Uh, most of those, without jumping through some hoops, won't support anything larger than two gigabytes. Uh, so, um, um, go ahead and check that box, and that will give you the flexibility to be able to copy it off uh, uh, to another source. Uh, if you have downloaded a virtual disk, um, or if you um, already have one, you can also check this box and navigate to the uh, virtual disk that's already been created, but in this case we're going to create one from scratch. So I'll click continue, and um, what I'm going to do here is use operating system installation disk image file. Uh, and now I need to um, actually navigate to it and select that. Uh, so I'm going to go to the desktop where I stored it, and um, it's going to be this um, desktop image here. This is the ISO file that you downloaded, so you just need to store it someplace and then navigate to it at this step. And then I need to click finish. And what's going to happen now is that the um, uh, application process is going to start. Now, in order to um, get your mouse and uh, keyboard captured in the window, you need to click in the window. And then um, uh, when you want to get your mouse and keyboard back in your host system, then you can press the uh, command, um, um, uh, command control keys, and that will get your mouse back. You can see there we've got it back. Now we're clicking in it so we can access it. I'm going to press enter for English, and uh, what we're going to do to try this out is to um, try Ubuntu without any change to your computer, and we'll install from there, and I'll talk about the reasons why while that's loading. The reason I suggest you um, uh, go ahead and try the uh, what's called the live CD version is that'll give you a chance to test your networking and make sure that networking works before you try the installation. Uh, a couple of choices for networking. One is bridged mode, um, where this um, uh, virtual machine will actually get its own 
uh, IP address. That's probably preferable if you can get it working in bridge mode. Um, you know, otherwise you can start it in what's called um, NAT, Network Address Translation, uh, and that will um, uh, set up its own private uh, IP address. Uh, and that will almost certainly work, but it's a little bit less flexible. Um, so if you can get Bridge Network working, uh, that would be great. So it's going to load up here, and in a few minutes you'll see the desktop. And here we go with the desktop. 